Hi, and welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. You know the drill, people? Yeah, no, I got you my stage. How we doing? Do a little bit better. I was gonna have this video slated for yesterday, but I really wasn't feeling under the weather. In fact, I went out with my niece yesterday and I only stood out with her just a little bit trick-or-treating and then I had to go back because I just was feeling really tired. I'm under the weather. And if all works out, let's cross our fingers, people. I am going to be taking off this weekend to go down to Southern California. So this video is more of a new comic book pickup video because I only picked up a few books. And really, I'm going to, I'm going to title it an update to my channel to let you know where I want to, uh, my goals are and who I am and what I'm doing with my channel right now. So let's start with the comics. Um, as you can see, I picked up Hero for Hire. I mean, Hero for Hire. Heroes in Crisis. And I thought this was a great cover. This is just cover A. And I got a chance to read this. And here is cover B. So this is a variant. This is a really good read so far. Excuse me. And what they've been able to do with these characters, I'm really impressed with this series. So we're going to find out what happens. And the last book I picked up was um, Emma Frost. So this is X-Men Black. And I was not able to pick up the variant. Like I said, I wasn't feeling well. I didn't get to the shop early enough. And there's this one guy who's there who competes with me. So because I was like about five minutes late, not even five, I want to say three. He was able to pick up the variant. But for those of you who've been following my channel know that these type of variants right here, I've already looked up. I could have, if I would have waited, I could have got this and the variant for cover price of maybe $2 shipping on one of them. So if you see that and you want to pick that up, that, that's nice if you've been collecting all the variants like I have with the lineup. So that's still the only reason why I want to collect it. Plus, overall, I have been have been enjoying the series except for Juggernaut. So I haven't had a chance to read this. Like I said, I was feeling really under the weather. I had one more video I was trying to knock out for the um, Halloween on Halloween, how to do monsters. My throat's still starting to get a little bit of a tickle. And I have a couple of more days before I drive. God, I don't even want to think about that drive. But I'm up here in Seattle, Washington, or actually Linwood, and I'm going to be driving down to Ontario, which is an additional two hours worth of traffic from L.A. So as you can see, I have a long drive ahead of me. Once I get into California, which is my goal for Saturday night, well, I should be able to get into California, but I want to push as close as I can to San Francisco. I'm going to get myself a room. And then from there, I'm going to have another long drive down to Ontario. So I didn't get to pick that up. But normally at the end of these videos, I usually show you what I picked up or what I have off of eBay. I have already started shipping I changed my address, so all the books are being shipped over to where I'm going to be staying at, which is my uncle, because I don't want to be dealing with this cold and weather up here. That's just too much for me. So let's get to the state of comic book gallery. Um, I had some plans to go to Japan, and at the same time as I was about to go to Japan, I was going to launch... Um, my Patreon page, where I would take all these videos, which I'm doing now, and I'm going to continue to do, where I'm going to start off a program of showing little kids how to draw from ages first or third. And if you've seen a couple of the videos, I hope you're enjoying that content. And if for those of you who have little, little children, um, you could start from there. I'm going to be at, uh, offering more advanced videos as time goes on. But I have so much on my plate right now, and I'm trying to keep this all together and, and keeping things on a, a timely basis and keeping a schedule. So my, my channel, when I first launched this, I want to say around April, 
yeah, around my birthday, somewhere around there. Uh, my first video, if you go back, um, I'm visiting my sisters and I'm really not ready to talk about the tragedy that, that's happened in my life that has kind of led me up to this point to being semi-homeless because I'm, I was at my sister's, I'm visiting my brother for a moment and I'm heading back to my uncle. So I'm kind of bouncing around and there's a reason for that. Like I said, I, I don't want to get into that right now. I'm really just trying to stay positive and concentrate on what I'm good at. And what I'm good at is my art. You've just seen a small sample. And I haven't been doing my art for a long time. And a lot of it is shows. But with practicing every day and doing all the tips that I'm telling you to do, my work will improve. And I will be creating that masterpiece that I did, that I said that I would create when I made my Patreon um, video last week. Yeah, because I launched it on... Uh, a weekend before Halloween, which wasn't my goal. Another goal that I wasn't going to be able to do besides Japan, I want to do some traveling and start doing some Comic Cons. But um, I've sunk like close to two grand into my car and, and repairs, whether it's transmission or this or that, just all this stuff. Plus, with me bouncing around, um, even though I'm not being charged rent right now, which is a good thing. I'm still trying to uh, gather other sources of income. So I have an eBay account that's not up, well, I haven't put all the comic books and I haven't put a majority of what I want listed on there because all my stuff's in storage. In fact, I have two storages. I have one that's in Vegas that's been sitting there for like 10 years. So we'll see what the state of that is because I haven't been able to check on it forever. I mean, I checked on it like I don't know, three, four years ago, but that was about it. And just a lot of things happened to me and it really slowed me down. So I want to thank all the people who have, um, who are my new subscribers. I want to thank the my friends and family who have been starting to share my link for the Patreon page. And I'm asking you, my subscribers, for those of you who do want to support what I'm doing, whether it's on YouTube or you like my Sketchbook Thursdays, or you like the fact that I'm teaching little, making a little program to teach children how to draw, or that I'm gonna be making a more advanced art programs. If you like that, please support me. It's $1 and on Patreon. And on my Patreon account is comic book, and that's one word, then gallery. And you'll see on the, um, oh, can't think, sorry. Just got lost in thought for a second. But a, um, it's a little peaceful tree that that I've always that I've had a few times when I when I've had a place, and uh, it's Karate Kid, and I can't believe I can't think of these little bonsai trees. That's it. So I have a bonsai tree, and that's my little symbol for the moment until I draw what I want to put on there. But for the moment, it's a little bonsai tree, and I'm just trying to find some peace right now in my life. So I thought I would end it with um, making this short video, let you know that I will be uh, posting not only videos just for Patreon, but also videos just for YouTube so people can see my work and hopefully want to become a Patreon member. And because I have no books to show, what I'm going to show you is a little piece of artwork that I did and that um, my friend Jack, who works here at the store, him and a couple other people thought this was funny. So they looked at this and they didn't think this was good, okay? They didn't know what it was. Well, they kind of knew what it was, but it's like a dinosaur off of um, an image from Magic the Gathering. They did a set called Ixalan. And for those of you familiar with Magic the Gath Gathering, um, the set was mostly based on dinosaurs and pirates. I mean, because seriously, people, who doesn't want dinosaurs and pirates? So he saw this, and the reason why I had drew this, there was a person drawing, I don't know if you can't see it, but up here, they have the prices of uh, Magic the Gathering cards and boxes, and they were, try and they were drawing symbols, and they, were, they wanted to draw a little dinosaur. So I sketched this up. No joke, two and a half, maybe three minutes at the most. So Jack was making fun of me, 
And he said he could do better. And I said, Jack, you could draw better than me in two minutes, two and a half. I said two minutes. So Jack's not a subscriber to my channel because he's not into comic books. So he doesn't know that it really took me two and a half to three minutes. But I gave him like two minutes to do this. And the, the drawing that he had, I wish I would have took a picture of that because that was so funny. It's not like the kid doesn't have potential. And I'm saying the kid because to me, he's 21 years old and he's a man now. But in my eyes, he's just becoming a, he's, you know, he's still a kid. And he made fun of this and his drawing looked nowhere even close to this. So the owner, who's my friend, Michael Kilker, has kept this drawing. I don't know if he's kept it as a reminder to Jack, put him in his place. I like to think that. But he did like this, like, like the nice little sketch. He has commissioned me to do a painting, which unfortunately I haven't been able to get to because I've been dealing with a lot in my life right now. But I wanted to end this on a happy note that um, it doesn't matter what's going on in your life. What matters is you do the little things that make you happy. And I, I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little bit emotional because I'm just thinking about what happened and, and where I'm at and that I'm staying positive and I'm doing all the little things that I want to do in my life. So I want to thank you all for um, stopping by and I hope to catch you later.